Hey guys, here are two simple tricks legendary shards don't want you to know about. Several people were asking me how I have so many legendary shards. With these tricks, you will be swimming in shards from morning to night. Cue random music. Wait for viewers to skip to middle of video. Okay. Now practically every consumable in the game has a value in legendary shards. Don't believe me? Tokens, planetary materials, runes, gunsmith materials, even glimmer can be made into shards. All the holiday event materials give us shards. Lots of legendary shaders are just waiting to become shards. After getting rid of all of that, say you still need shards. Don't infuse crap or buy things from the spider and be the guy who never has raid banners. Now official trick number one that shards don't want you to know about. The Menagerie. The Menagerie is a source of unlimited materials. Not only do you get crap on enemy kills, but you also get something at the end. A guaranteed legendary when you use a rune. Now you can also loot this chest 5-7 to seven times in every run. Exploit and description. That's 15-20 to 20 shards guaranteed. But what's better is the Chalice Refund perk. Every time you loot the chest with rune bonus 2, you get a rune back. If you only slot one rune and you get one back, that's free shards. Doesn't matter what item you get. That's if you're playing the game. Another great way I got most of my shards is clearing out my Postmaster when it's full. Duh. A lot of my shards came from strikes and nightfalls. There's a high chance that legendaries during the strike, the final chest, and turning in the vanguard tokens you get, making speedrun nightfalls very efficient at earning shards. But let's say you don't have a lot of time to play. Can you still get shards? The answer is yes. You can earn shards in your sleep. Is this too good to be true? Can you get banned for this? No. There's a year old method to farming planetary materials by doing nothing. This works great for holiday events. You need to lower your power level. Easily done by buying whatever Hawthorne is selling, using starter gear or Eververse gear. Then you want to queue up a forge. I recommend the Volander. And just leave the game running. You can leave it on all night. You'll be match made based on your power level. Since you're way under recommended, any people playing at that power will never complete a forge, causing you to load up another one over and over. Now sometimes you can get kicked for being AFK for too long. This rarely happens though, but it can happen. This is caused by a player matchmaking in at the end of your forge run, but has a slow internet connection, basically keeping the mission open for an extra 5 minutes and triggering the AFK prevention, kicking you from the mission. This has only happened to me a couple times. You do not need to rubber band your controller, tie it to your ceiling fan, or strap it to your dog. Each failure will give you four planetary materials. Then you can turn those into vendors for crap that makes good shards and enhancement cores. You will find those planetary materials in your postmaster when you wake up. Small recap. Dismantle your crap, turn in your consumables, and follow those two simple tricks. G forever, Guardian.